Hey, what's up guys? I've been using the Reason Rack plugin for a number of weeks now, and I have to say that it is fantastic. And when you think about it, it's one of the first true VSTs. VST stands for Virtual Studio Technology, and Reason is by design. It was made to mimic the virtual studio. You know, you'd have your sequencer, which would be like the computery bits, and then you would have these rack units that you would kind of bolt in, and you would route them through mixers and splitters and all that fun stuff. That's kind of what you do here. It's a virtual studio. And the very idea that Reason is now a VST is very exciting because it opens up a, a visual workflow that affords this fun and exciting and new way of making music. And I've been using it for a little bit, and I've come across a couple of uh, workflow tips and enhancements and a couple of shortcuts. So yeah, watching this video, this will get you well on your way. So let's uh, just drop in a drum designer. And I will go to Deep House. I already have a MIDI clip there. And I'll just give it a little bit of volume. Right. So how it works is essentially things are automatically routed. You drag it in and the output is fed into the main input. If we drop in, say, an effect, pulverizer demolition, boom, it will route itself from the output into the input of this, and then the output of the pulverizer into the main. And of course we can manually do this, but it's really smart and it's contextual as to what you're doing. It's once you once you get it, you're like, oh yeah, that's like really clever. So keep that in uh, in your mind as this video goes on. So we have a uh, pulverizer. Let's add in, uh, let's just see what that sounds like first, right? We'll bring down the squash a bit and the dirt. Right, really cool. Let's get a, an echo in there and we, you know, put that below and it's automatically routed and it is incorporated the echo into that. But let's say, yeah, let's get this echo going. Now we'll have that like 16ths maybe and then this will be what? Now yeah, we'll have it be back. Oh, that's, there we go. And then we'll get that filter. There, cool. So we have that. And right now, it's, it's a pulverizer. I'll put a pulverizer going into the echo. But if I wanted to change that, I can't just move this. Like I'll show you, I can't just move it. The, the routing will maintain. And the reason for that is because you might want to like kind of organize or have kind of the CV of the echo closer to something else. But if you actually wanted to change the actual routing, you don't have to, you can, and I enjoy doing this. I don't know why. I like to, you know, manually move the cables around because it's really satisfying because like, look, it's fun. Like they wiggle, you know, there's like inertia and stuff. Oops. Oh, that, that gives me uh, an opportunity to show this. If you take the left output and you plug it into any left input, it'll automatically uh, do the other kind of stereo thing here. And I encourage you to uh, maybe try plugging these in in reverse or, you know, swap them around. You get a really interesting stereo effect. But anyway, uh, let's put that back in there like it was. If you wanted to actually change the routing, you don't actually have to disconnect everything and then connect it. You can just hold shift and then drag up and it'll automatically route it. Automatic routing. Super fun. Oops, stuck them both. Super fun. And that way we can rearrange things and it'll automatically route things. We don't have to get in there and do cabling and stuff like that. Right? Super awesome. And that is probably one of the number one kind of workflows that uh, I would offer. Workflow enhancements that I would offer. It'll, it'll save you a bunch of um, trouble. But it's fun to, to kind of do it manually as well because sometimes you get like a mistake and uh, things sound cool. And you'll notice, yeah, when we drag something in, it'll automatically route it. And if we don't want that, that's the undo button, by the way. If we don't want that, we can hold shift 
drag things in and there's no automatic routing and that is exceptionally useful and you know if we wanted to kind of drag in a re reverb here and you know there's no routing or we take this from something else we duplicate it we take it from something else we like the setting we're like oh how am i going to do that we can actually just right click and then auto route device and then boom aren't those cables awesome how they just kind of wiggle i wonder if i can just wiggle them a lot i don't know no, i'm so yeah, that is um, essentially the automatic routing there. There's other really intuitive routing things that Reason Rack can do. Let's flip this around. All right, so let's actually yeah get rid of this. We'll cut that, and it'll automatically reroute it so it's uh, more appropriate so we don't lose the audio. Let's make all these into a... Combinator. I say combiner. We combine them. It's it's a Canadian thing. If we select the top one, and we select oh, if we hold Shift and then select the bottom one, we effectively selected all of these uh, rack units here. We'll right click and we'll go combine, and we'll have this in a combiner. A combiner is a a, a bunch of things all in one. Right, so it's like a, a rack containing a bunch of effects, and the routing carries over because we can actually save these as its own um, effect rack, and we can kind of bring them into other um, instances of Reason Rack and have a grand old time. Uh, yeah, essentially how it works is we have I just disconnected that we have the you know the input output and then we have this um, input output from uh, the main so we can have things routed around and all that fun stuff. So whatever happens within this is kind of it's self-contained. And of course you can route things in between combinators, but is this gives you a really cool option. And if I go back so. There's that. Let's say I just want to combine Kong and Pulverizer. This is really cool. I want to flip this around so you can see this. So notice the routing here. It's you know very top to bottom. If we select the Kong Drum Designer, hold Control, boom. We're just selecting those. The echo is going to be left out of this. We right click and then go Combine. What happens is the echo is essentially it becomes a kind of a master. Um, effect after the combinator. So the combinator will kind of route things like so, and then the uh, echo, everything will be routed into the echo, and the echo will be spat out for the most part. It's, uh, yeah, it's really kind of, I guess, intuitive. So I like that. All right, let's uh, cut this device, and things are um, not routed in the way that I would like. Let's actually just disconnect all of that. I want to actually right click and then go auto route device. Now I'll auto route that device there. And then I want to auto route this device and that goes into the input. Right? Super easy. Easy to, uh, easy to follow. Let's, uh, you know, we can, nothing is connected now. Let's actually right click and then auto route that. And that will be routed into the main out. And then we can hear it. So it's it's really smart. So the the convention of where it, you ninety percent of the time want to route it to, it'll just route to that, and this carries on to uh, other examples as well. I want to show you how to duplicate. We can actually duplicate these by uh, going uh, Control and then dragging. Now we have two of these guys, and we can have a different effect for the bottom one to do some kind of parallel, I guess, uh, processing. I'll squish this one, right, just to give it a little bit of oomph. But now we need a mixer. So what we can do is we can go into utilities in the browser section here, add in a mixer, and that mixer will automatically um, have, you know, the, the output of the mixer going into the main out. What we can do with each of these combinators is right click auto route, it'll auto route to one. This one right here will auto route to two, right? So now we can do some mixage, right? We'll solo the, uh, the, the squashed one. And then maybe we'll, uh, uh, let's see, we'll add in, yeah, just a reverb. No, we're not gonna add in a reverb. I don't wanna add in a reverb. I wanna add 
add in uh, Scream. Something like that. And then mix that in with this one here. We're getting some really cool kind of parallel processing. Uh, you typically wouldn't do this, although you can for um, uh, special instances of layering. You'd use a send and you'd kind of have a the, the send going out. Uh, but this is just for the uh, the sake of example, if you really want to quickly uh, layer up your sounds. If you have like a patch, you want to change it and have like a different thing, you can have that below and it automatically routes. If we're having problems kind of knowing what channel is which, we can actually rename these combinators. I'll just call this one uh, dry. And then the channel strip name will be renamed to dry, and this will be uh, squished, for lack of a better description. And that's super useful. We can EQ, right, and do all sorts of uh, all sorts of fun stuff with that. And uh, yeah, the, the cool thing about these uh, combinators is we can we don't have to worry about like the the, the 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 weird routing, we might put something in between everything, and it'll get messed up. Typically, it doesn't. But yeah, let's go effects, and you know, we want to add uh, some channel dynamics. We want to kind of convert this into somewhat of an SSL console. We can just drag that in there, and kaboom, we have uh, you know channel dynamics, and it's automatically routed contextually, and we can cut, and we don't lose the routing. We take something out, we don't have to replug things in. So yeah, I'll just go uh, EQ here, and we can accentuate things. EQ the there. And like that, maybe. Just give it a little bit of oomph, and that's the, uh, the dry there. So now, let's... It's... It's... It's, context, it's, uh, it's contextual to like what you drag in, what's connected by, where you kind of place it. I'll give me an example. So let's say we like, hey, we wanna we wanna reverb, send, right? So I'll go into effects and I'll pick this right here. If I drag this here, it will kind of connect it to the squished um, combinator, and then so just the squished combinator is there, and it'll just incorporate that and auto-connect that. Uh, I don't want that. I wanted that to be just something attached to the mixer. So a couple things I can do. There's an easy way to do it, but I just want to kind of show this as an example. If I hold shift and I drag it in, it's kind of dry, and then I can, you know, have these connected up to the send and stuff like that. That's all well and good. But if I were to drag it in to right below the mixer, it's saying, hey, the mixer is above, so let's connect that with how you connect a reverb to a mixer, and then boom, automatically to the sends. You could uh, also, you know, if, if you wanted to, if say if you got this from another part of the rack, and you wanted to like reuse this, use this somewhere else, uh, you'd kind of disconnect everything and then drag it up and then right click and then auto route device. It'll automatically route that. So now we have this awesome reverb send stuff and uh, it's named here as well. Right, so we're getting this really awesome, flexible routing thing that's really visible. And there's no drop-downs, none of that stuff. It, uh, it makes sense. So that is that, essentially. And what we can do from here is, let's say, yeah, just using the mixer. I always use the mixer. I don't know. I don't really know why. If I wanted to, like, just add the scream in there, I can have this set up so that I can have it set up as a send, or I can have the output of one of the one of the sends going into that. Not so much going into the return. I'll just move that up there so we can see. You can go hide cable so you can actually see what's going on. So there's that, and then I'll just move that into channel three. So channel three will be the kind of distortion of 
either one or two or both and there, there'll be kind of a mixture of that so it's not so much um, having it as a send or having it kind of as a an alternative way to run things and route things so that would be uh, two even though nothing is in the return we'll have two being sent to channel three Right, and we'll just solo that. Oh wait, no, because we actually need to have it uh, uh, post effects. There we go. Nope, never mind. See, always something new going on. But yeah, we can uh, do all sorts, do all sorts of things with that, and that is kind of doing things that aren't really typical, but it will kind of beef up your sound. So imagine doing this with all of the routing with drop down menus we actually have a visual way of uh, seeing that and then we can have cool things like you know sub mixers for kind of having you know something going on here we can route things around so you know these are the the, uh, the general exploration and uh, workflow tips that i would suggest employing and all of these all of this will be saved in your project file so you'll have access to it and all of that fun stuff so i hope you guys enjoyed that video hope you learned stuff take care and have a good one